Fabric Mods for 1.20.4. The first step of getting them is actually downloading the Fabric Mod Loader. So start off by going to the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on downloading and installing the Fabric Mod Loader. And once you're here, you can go through this at your own pace, or if you're following along with the video, just go ahead and click on the yellow Download Fabric button here to be taken to Fabric's official download page. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar link here, this little bitty link down here at the bottom. And when you click on that, Fabric will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, but it's 100% safe to do that as long as you're downloading it through our website by clicking this link and coming here. Now, after that, we do need to download some Fabric mods, one of which is actually the Fabric API. This is a mod produced by the people who make Fabric that adds in as some additional features for mods to hook into, and something that generally you should always just install when you install Fabric. This is linked, of course, in the description down below, where you can scroll down and click Download the Fabric API. This will take you to CurseForge, where we can then go ahead and click on Files, and find the Minecraft 1.20.4 version right up here at the top. Click the three dots on the right hand side and click download file and the download will begin after a few seconds. While this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below that breaks down .xyz sgh to start your very own Minecraft server where you can easily add mods, mod packs, or plugins. And yes, you can even one click install hundreds of fabric mod packs and even create your own mod pack and add that to the server as well. So if you want to play Fabric, Forge, or just vanilla Minecraft with your friends the simple way, go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to get your server started today. Nevertheless, the Fabric API is downloaded. I'm also going to quickly download a few Fabric mods, one of which is Sodium. All of these are linked in the description down below. The thing about Sodium is it's downloaded on Modrinth. Modrinth is an amazing website that also hosts trusted Minecraft mods. Generally, if you're downloading Minecraft mods, you're safe to get them from Modrinth and CurseForge, as well as anything that's linked out via our website. Usually, though, that will just take you to Modrinth or CurseForge, the official download pages for a mod. Nevertheless, once you're here on Modrinth, you want to click on versions and make sure you're downloading the 1.20.4 version of any mod that you're downloading. So there we go. We're also going to grab Xero's minimap. The specific reason that I want to get Xero's minimap is because if we go to files here, we'll notice that there's fabric versions, but there's also forge versions. You want to make sure that you're downloading the fabric version of a mod. If you download the forge version, it won't work. So we want to make sure we're getting the fabric version. Something else worth noting, and this is a very big asterisk, occasionally 1.20.3 versions of Fabric Mods will work in 1.20.4. That is not normally the case, but nothing, one change happened between 1.20.3 and Minecraft 1.20.4. So 1.20.3 mods will occasionally work. Generally though, you wanna look for a 1.20.4 compatible mod. Now let me click the three dots and click download on Xero's minimap. Lastly, we'll go ahead and grab the block us mod here. If we go ahead and click files and notice it does say it requires the fabric API. We can see all the different versions. This one has 1.20.4 and we click the three dots on the right hand side and click download file and the download will begin. We've already done that a few times. Now, the first step of getting these is actually moving them to our desktop, just moving everything, and they're going to be found in your downloads folder. So we can come here and move these to our desktop. Once we move them to our desktop, we actually want to get started with the fabric installer here, and everything else can kind of be left over to the side. To get started with the fabric installer, just right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, you need to download Java 17. This is linked in the description below and goes over everything you need to know to get Java, covering everything step by step. Once you've got Java, you may also need to run the jar fix. That's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java 17. But first get Java using this guide in the description and then get the jar fix and run that using this guide. Nevertheless, now we can go ahead and right click on fabric, click on open with, click Java and click OK. That opens up the fabric installer. Well, all we've got to do here is make sure that 1.20.4 is selected and then click install. It will then install Fabric, and as you can see, successfully installed. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.4 before. If that's the case, just go play it with no mods or anything, just open it to the main menu and close out of it. Or if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, this can have issues, so make sure both of those are closed as well. Now let's go ahead and close Fabric, close the installer, and we can actually delete the Fabric installer. Now let's move on to installing our Fabric mods here, and to do that, we wanna open up the Minecraft launcher, but do not play Minecraft. Just open up the launcher here, and then once we're in the launcher, we wanna find our Fabric installation. So for me, Fabric is already selected here, which is great, but again, do not play Minecraft. All we wanna do is go to the Installations tab at the top, then make sure the modded version is selected. If modded is not checked, Fabric's not here. If we check it, there it is. 
Now, if you've got the Fabric Loader 1.20.4 here, skip ahead, you know, 15, 20 seconds in the video. But if you don't, how do we create one of these profiles? Go ahead and click New Installations here. I'm going to name this SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends, including Fabric Mods. Then click the Version drop-down box. We want to select Release Fabric Loader 1.20.4. It should say Fabric at the beginning and 1.20.4 at the end. Once you've got that selected, go ahead and change your resolution if you want. I'm doing that just so you can see better. And now we've got this new version, and most importantly is Fabric Loader 1.20.4. Click Create, and there it is. Hello everyone who needs to add mods, who already had the Fabric Loader installation. How do you add mods to Fabric? Well, in order to do that, you want to hover over the Fabric Loader or the Fabric Profile you created, and then click on the folder icon that appears. That will then open up your Minecraft folder. Now in here, you should have a Mods folder, but if you don't, like I don't have a Mods folder, what do we do? Well, we create one. Just right-click, create a new folder and title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that open up the mods folder and drag and drop any fabric mods you want into this mods folder here once they're in here we can now play minecraft using our fabric installation and once we're in game the mods will be installed and working basically any more mods you want to install outside of the ones that we've installed here you just add them to that mods folder you can add as many mods as you want some mod packs have hundreds of mods installed on them. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. We can see that fabric is in the bottom left down here, and that's great, but there's no real way to see these mods are working unless we jump in game. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll create a brand new world with these mods just because when installing a bunch of new mods, it's easy to, uh, you know, go ahead and start a new world, not add them to an existing world, because once you add mods to a world, it's kind of hard to remove them without causing issues later. So it's best to just start fresh every time you add a bunch of new mods, unless you always want to have those mods and the world that you're playing. Nevertheless, once we're in game, we can quickly go ahead and test these. Now, Sodium is actually one that we test by going to Options, Video Settings, and here is Sodium, all of the different Sodium video settings. However, Minimap is in the top left, already loading in, and then last but not least, we have the Block Us mod, which we come in here and search for different blocks, should appear if I can scroll down. Yeah, so they are block us. We've got, you know, asphalt blocks and stuff like that. We've got the, uh, you know, stars block. That's really cool. Weight storage cubes, rainbow brick. I mean, so much cool stuff that the block us mod adds in. So, for example, if we wanted to do a, uh, a rainbow road, we could. <laughs> right like so. Boom. Looking good. And then we've also got the uh, stars block, which, whoa. That's actually really cool. So it actually sparkles. And then we do have, what was this, the uh, weight storage cube? I have no clue what that is. And then we've got the uh, asphalt stairs as well. So there you have it. That is how you can add mods to Minecraft 1.20.4 using Fabric. Let us know if you have any... Look at the sparkles on that. That is so cool! Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. We will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.